Good morning. This is Thomas Griswold, your Chief Operations Officer here at Eagle Aviation, going over an overview of my decisions in the tenure so far. First off, we'll go over the weight of leadership, specifically my judgment and my goals and why I made certain decisions for the growth of our company. Then we'll go into organization restructure, maintaining airline change fees, refining our emergency response plans, and creating our lines of effort priority listing. As the chief operations officer, when I first took command, I noticed that the organization was in disarray in a lot of ways. My decisions were made strictly to have the mission as a priority and betterment for the people of aviation. Admittedly, I know that these decisions can't be made possible without the stakeholders in this company such as the investors, suppliers, and the men and women of Eagle Aviation, such as you. So at this time, I'd like to say thank you to each and every one of you for everything that you've done thus far. Organization charts, while notionally they can be seemed Kind of something menial, but it's extremely important for coordinating up the channel and down the channel. So, starting from somewhere, this is where we have to start to carry out my decisions. That's the first thing that I did when taking up the mantle of, of Chief Operations Officer. Organizational charts are useful for indicating hierarchy, reporting functions, and understanding workforce needs for employees as well as executives in the organization. Data 2018. By applying this rationale, we know that a clear chain of command is necessary, like I said before. It's important to know who you're playing with. So you don't go to play football unless you have 11 players and you have your specific 11 players on the team at any given time and they're playing their role and that is very similar to the organizational chart. The organization restructure, we can take a look here at our first Eagle Aviation Charter. And it's the heart that begins to grow once uh, the business begins to grow. It utilizes a command hierarchy that's effective to facilitate cross-organization crosstalks. Forbes panel, 2021. So, like I said before, we have to know who our players are and we have to know who our sections heads are in order to get my decisions accomplished. can't be done by myself alone. It's done with the folks in the organization chart. And conversely, it also helps bringing up issues to me. So I made plenty of decisions with my team, my section heads, and also didn't make a lot of decisions because of this robust organization restructure. The second decision I made was to maintain airline change fees, which is against the grain of our competitors at Eagle Aviation. However, I felt that the main factor for this was funding allocation. So, uh, to put it tersely, it was simply too much of an opportunity to let go. In a lot of ways, it's just as profitable as us flying planes. And this is the way that we can pay for planes, equipment, and every other fees that we have to deal with and taking care of our people. Also, 
referring to the elasticity of demand theorem, which is calculated by the percentage change in quality demanded divided by the percent change in price. Basically, this means that our tickets are so cheap that customers will be willing to pay for airline change fees. We worked this out with our marketing department, and this was the reason why we made this change. Additionally, our marketing department looked up some data. United Airlines fees made $625 million alone in airline change fees, not to include bag fees and other fees that we still maintain here at Eagle Aviation. So, uh, again, this is to provide assurances for our stakeholders, suppliers, investors, and people. The adage of leaving money on the table here is relevant. So, for instance, if I'm charging for a service at $10, and then you go to another service charging $8, and then you have everyone else charging $10, that person that's charging $8 is leaving money on the table. And our competitors are leaving money on the table by not taking advantage of these airline change fees. So it's not a mistake I will make as long as I am Chief Operations Officer of Eagle Aviation. That I can promise you. Nextly, refining our emergency response plan. So. Planning for a rainy day is the reason why we do this. Um, why would we worry? Like any contingency that can be refined, any companies that service commercial private aircraft should invest in planning for an emergency that creates massive ground delays. Without in-depth plans, ramifications could be aircraft accidents and litigation disputes. Disputes in 2015. So the reason why we're so thorough, the reason why we do exercises for contingency response plans is uh, the bottom line is this saves lives. Um, while we're running through exercises, it could seem mundane. However, Eagle Aviation, we get prepared, and this is why we do emergency response plan exercises. So, uh, our uh, HR department made sure that it is uh, in regulation compliance with the FFA. Uh, this was another uh, detail that we decided to add to our rationale for doing emergency response plans. Finally, my claim to fame and uh, my most proudest accomplishment here at Eagle Aviation was implementing lines of efforts. So, lines of efforts is our moral compass that strives our company to have mutual traits for to be a successful organization. Our lines of efforts priorities are people, processes, finances, and stakeholders. By incorporating this, we unite all levels of the organization from the top to the bottom. Where we've seen our most success is lines of effort one, people. We implemented a evaluation system for our employees similar to the My Eval system for the Air Force. The Air Force, the United States Air Force, designed a system to provide trans transparency for how airmen are doing in the military and provide a structured system of recourse in the event that their employee is in a disagreement and with how they're being evaluated, Secretary of the Air Force Public Affairs 2022. So again, uh, driving that point home, I want our employees here at Eagle Aviation to know exactly how they're doing, to have constant feedback, to be involved, and to also have recourse in the event that they feel that they're being unjustly evaluated. So to put this tersely, I want to provide our people with the ability to grow and also the ability to defend themselves. Lines of effort two, processes. So, this makes sense. Um, human factors engineering has been around since the Wright brothers flew in North Carolina. We have been in a constant involvement 
And that innovation cycle never ends. We've seen results used in marrying companies such as Boeing been in the forefront of human factors engineering innovations. To surmise, Boeing has been responsible for automated systems, communications, fault information systems, passenger cabin designs, all of which have been for better man in the industry. Here at Eagle Aviation, we follow that same stride. We take that same path and we do it for the safe passage of our travelers. With our initiative, it only make us more attractive airline budget to fly. In conclusion, we discussed my rationale for leadership, the organization restructure, maintaining airline change fees, refining our emergency response plans, and creating lines of effort priority listing. Are there any questions at this time? No, thank you. And that is it.